All right, it's just before 515 here on your Tuesday. We're getting ready for more heat, more humidity, and uh, that's the story for the rest of the week here. Our rain chances, I don't think they're going to be as high today as they were yesterday for the North Shore here on the South Shore. We didn't pick up any storms. Chance of that happening about 10% today. There's your high 95. That'll happen around two or three o'clock. That's usually our hottest part of the day this time of year, and when you factor in the humidity, it feels closer to the 100s, well into the 100s. Really, uh, it'll feel closer to 106 in the city and uh, 105, maybe Dallin Galliano, 102 and Homa. And then you see this yellow up here north of Bogalusa and the Mississippi. That's where you have a higher chance of rain and some rain cold air. So this is where our severe weather threat is today north of the lake and especially in the Mississippi. Now it's possible one or two storms like yesterday works its way down through the North Shore. I don't think it's going to be as widespread as yesterday, but we'll keep an eye on this. Gusty winds or strong winds and some hail are the main concerns. Just like we saw yesterday in Washington Parish and Pearl River County, you did have quite a bit of trees down across those areas. This is your main corridor, though, of where the rough weather is going to be, and that's going to be the story day after day. Let me put this in motion. It really paints the picture on where the storms are going to be most prominent the next 48 hours. Look to our north. You just get rounds and rounds and more rounds of storms coming on through, but they never really make it all the way down here because the ridge is too strong. The ridge is centered over South Texas. It extends close enough to us, whereas those storms get close, they dissipate. And I call these ridge riders. A lot of these storms are riding around the edge of that ridge, and it just happens to be right on our doorstep. One or two may slide on by and into the area, but the chances of that do look fairly low. We'll have a 20% chance of rain on Thursday. Other than that, it's just hot. Mid 90s turn into the upper 90s. Look at this weekend. I'm going with a high of about 98 degrees. It will feel closer to 110. So we're talking dangerous heat here. Now I want to talk about something else that's dealing with something extremely unusual in record heat. It's the Atlantic Basin. Temperatures have really warmed up over the past month or so out here in the main development region. That's anywhere out here in the Atlantic. There's your Caribbean. There's the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf is always hot, but out here what we've been watching is something quite unusual. And as of yesterday, the Atlantic main development region that I just showed you is the hottest it's ever been in the month of June. The only other year that was hotter was back in 2005. Now, before you start saying, oh my God, 2005, there's a lot of differences this year. Yeah, the Atlantic is hot, but we've got a strong El Nino developing, so we're not expecting an 05 season. But what's interesting is as we go into this upcoming hurricane season and we have El Nino usually suppressing hurricane season, we've got this large fetch of above normal water temperatures that could help some storms out here in the open water. Uh, really turn up at least earlier in the season. Why is it warmer than usual? Well, the winds have been extremely light and when the winds are light, the water's just sitting there and it's heating up. So we've seen light winds. We haven't seen a ton of Saharan dust and all that coupled together means we've got record breaking temperatures out there in the Atlantic. So it's still what we've been talking about calling for an average season. There's still quite a bit of knowns on what's going to happen with the El Nino and what's going to happen with that warm water out there in the Atlantic. We'll get you through it. Good news, we don't have anything to worry about for the next seven days. There's your full seven day forecast. Plenty hot in the mid 90s, upper 90s by this weekend. Not a lot of rain in the forecast for the weekend and feeling about 110.